Hello everyone, good day. Welcome once again to our lecture for today. So we have now a new topic, we call it the derivative of logarithmic function. Okay, so before we go to the uh, main concept of this uh, discussion, let us recall uh, first the, the basic thing about uh, logarithms. So there are two important types of logarithms. So number one, we have the logarithm base 10. Okay, and we use the term log, L-O-G, right? And the other one is what we call the natural logarithm, okay? So, and we use, uh, instead of log, we use ln, all right? Uh, for example, if you have, uh, say, okay, so we have here, Say log of log of x. Okay, log of x. So if you have this log of x, it means that. Uh, you didn't see any base here. So this is equivalent to log of uh, log of x log of x base 10. Okay, so if you don't see any base uh, on this part here on the left, so that is understood to be base 10. And the other one, we have what called ln. So if you see this, something like this, ln x. You can put uh, parenthesis. So this is equivalent to, this is still a logarithm. So we use log. So log of still this is x. Oh, by the way, you can put x inside the parentheses. Okay, also this one here. But this time class, uh, we have the base equal to e. Uh, the base is equal to e. So we know what is the value of e, right? The e is uh, 2.7182818. Okay, so th this is a very important uh, concept class that uh, we need to remember always when we deal with uh, logarithm. Okay, so we have uh, base 10. So we use a log. Now, for example, if you have log of, uh, say, you have log of, or the logarithm of, B with a base A so equal to Y so usually in this uh, format okay so we have here our B equal to X so our E here can be either uh, 10 or E alright so if A here is equal to 10 so we have the base 10 then if the A here is equal to E, where E is equal to 2.7182818, so we will use uh, ln x instead of log of x to the base E. Okay, so these are the uh, two important types of logarithm. We have the logarithm with base 10 and the natural logarithm, uh, base E. Okay, now let's recall the natural logarithm, logarithmic function denoted by ln x is given by this y equal to ln x if and only if x equal to e to the power y. Okay, so what you're going to do just to prove that uh, this one, 
should be satisfied with this condition. So you just take ln on both sides no, of this uh, equation here. So if you're going to take ln on both sides, we have ln x equal to ln of e to the power y. Okay, so the right side could be written as uh, the power here, y, and times ln of e. Okay, so we have ln x. And you know, ln of e, so this part here. So the ln of e is just equal to 1. Uh, this part is just equal to 1. You can try this one class by using your calculator. Okay, so therefore we have uh, ln x equal to y times 1 and that is equal to y. Okay, and this is exactly this one. Alright, so remember this uh, basic concept class. So if you are going to graph this y equal to ln x, so this is the kind of graph that you can see. Okay? Now if we are given a function equal to, or function of x equal to ln x, then the derivative of this function is equal to 1 over x. Okay, so remember this uh, equivalent class because we are going to use that in our next uh, uh, discussion, the next part of this topic. So in general, if u is a differentiable function of x, then we have this uh, new formula in addition to our uh, many formulas already. We have the derivative of ln u with respect to x is equal to 1 over u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, now if you are given this function, function of x equal to the logarithm of x with the base b, so we can also write this in this uh, equivalent expression. That uh, f of x, this is f of x here, which is equal to this one, can also be written as uh, ln x divided by ln b. So it means we just uh, take the ln of this x and also the ln of b. So we divide the ln of x divided by ln of b. So we have this expression. So it means that this function, the logar logarithm of x with the base b, is also equivalent to ln x divided by ln b. Take note, our uh, b is a constant. So, uh, we can write this because ln of a constant that is still equal to a constant. So, we can write rewrite this as 1. Okay, that's 1 divided by, sorry, 1 divided by ln, ln b. Alright? And then multiplied by, well, we just multiply this by ln x. Okay, now when you take the derivative, you know, derivative of this function, which is now uh, written in this manner, we segregate the the constant one divided by a constant, so that is a constant. So uh, uh, we know that the derivative of constant times uh, the function the variable uh, here, our variable is x. So we just uh, use the formula of the constant multiple all right derivative of constant multiple so we have the constant then we have here the part that we need to uh, take the derivative and we know that uh, when we take the derivative of this part the ln x what is the derivative of ln x derivative of ln x now we have if uh, given from the previous slide if you're given f of x 
equal to ln x. So when you take the derivative of ln x, so this is equivalent to 1 over x. So the f prime of x is equal to 1 over x. Okay, so we'll apply this uh, concept here in this part. Okay, so taking the derivative, so when you take the derivative of this function, so we have 1 over ln b, we separate this 1 over ln b because this is uh, a constant and we just take the derivative, no? this is a constant, we just take the derivative of this part, the derivative of 1, uh, sorry, ln x which is equal to 1 over x. So that's why we have here the constant 1 over ln b times 1 over x which is the derivative of ln x or we have here 1 times 1 that is equal to 1 then the denominator you can uh, rearrange because this is just multiplication ln b times x can be written also as x times ln b uh, something like this okay so f prime of x equal to 1 divided by x times ln b so that is the or this is the derivative of this function which is also equivalent to this one okay so once again remember this so you need to remember this part all right because we will be using this later on as well as this one no? from the previous slide so derivative of ln x okay now in general if u is a differentiable function of x then we have this derivative of the logarithm of u with a base b with respect to x equal to 1 divided by u times ln b times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, so more or less for this topic, we need to remember four formulas. Alright, now we have here some uh, items that we need to solve and practice. So the instruction here is to find the derivative of the following functions. So we're given here five items. Uh, I will solve four of them and I will uh, leave the other one for your practice. And there is an, an additional uh, numbers here to practice class. Try to solve them also. Okay, so that's all for now for this video. Uh, see you in our next video. Uh, showing you the solutions to this uh, items here for our exercises. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day. Stay safe and healthy always. God bless. Bye.